invented for life as everything what we're doing here. So we produce products for safety and mobility. Uh, that means every car what is moving is moving with our engine and stopping with our braking system. We are already 42 years here in, in Charleston. The Charleston area was chosen for um, the same advantages that we still have today. We still have a great harbor. We're still located in the north-south axis of the east coast. We now have the advantage of being able to do trade with China and Asia, let's say better because of the opening up more of the Panama Canal and larger ships. It's still a pro-business environment. All of those advantages over the years have worked for us to remain competitive. But I think the key is we have to leverage that through innovation. Industry 4.0 or connecting industry is really getting in every piece of our uh, machinery, of our controlling, of our steering. But we do this also with our people on the shop floor. If they have a problem, they just take their smartphone, hopefully from Bosch, looking at it, making a video, or directly FaceTime to somebody somewhere else on the world who is a specialist for that. And this drives our, our way to be more digital, to be more transparent, to be faster. I think the Charleston area offers quite a few advantages. It's such a good place to live that you can get great people, and the great people are the ones that are gonna make the business successful. We do have some good schools and we have higher education here. Sometimes people come from school and they, they have a training of how to do things, but not how to do things in a manufacturing environment. So that's something that Ready SC can help with a lot. First time I was on the business trip in Charleston, 1999. I went back to my girlfriend at that time, it's today my wife, and told her one day I want to work over there in Charleston. So it took me 15 years to come over here and it was the first impression of Charleston, it was the first impression of the people, of the motivation what I see over here, of the capabilities and um, there's a lot of potential over here. Charleston is now really on a growth path. But there's also this commitment across all the different governments in the area to make sure that we monitor and manage that growth in the best way possible to make it positive growth instead of growth that's out of control. And I think that's what excites me the most, is knowing that we're growing, but we're growing in a very positive way.